And we're live. What's going on, fellas and ladies? It is the 10th of May already, and we are here to talk about one of the last NBA DFS slates for the regular season of the year. But you know what that means, guys. The playoffs are going to be here before you know it. We're going to start winning that money like we do every year come NBA playoffs. we got baseball and throw throttle. It's a great time to be alive and talking DFS. Yeah, we have, a, we have slates all week this week, correct? Yeah, but, you know, only a few left, right? Like, end Saturday, we're yeah. under a week. I, I just wasn't sure. I, I, you kind of made it seem like this was like one of the last couple. And yes, it is one of the last few because we, this is the last week. Um, and man, excited to get back on here and break it down with you. Yeah, it's been a few days, but let's talk about this one. Uh, we do got a drafters draft we got coming up here in a little bit. I'd love it if some of you guys want to show up and play with us. Uh, one point for people who like to play NBA DFS, but have been a little bit turned off. Uh, by the state of like DK and FanDuel due to all the scratches and sits, you deal with that a lot less on drafters. Not only do they have like auto swap if your guys out, you're not dealing with the nitty gritties of the world quite as much. Like you don't have to be looking at the Najee Marshalls and things like that. Uh, not that they're not in play if you have a bigger draft, but just not as big of a focus. You're looking more at like the good players. Yeah, for sure. And it's just the fact that there's no salary cap. So it's just a completely different game. Uh, it's more fun. It's, you know, less intense. And uh, we have a blast doing it. Yep, guys, there is a link to a Facebook group below. If you want to come do these daily snake traps with us, uh, sign on up. If you want to use our promo code, that'd be sweet. It's DFS 5-Pack. Even if you don't or you're already on drafters, just jump and join the group. Let me know that you want to play, and we'd love to have you guys come join us. Weekly and monthly memberships are available at the website link below. Uh, we've crushed the NBA playoffs the last few years. We're going to do it again. We got, you know, Big old uh, MLB GPP things to be winning. We all know my boy Bellman over here won big money last week trying to spread knowledge to people so you can try to do the same thing. Both of these memberships would get you both smarts. Otherwise, it's got a one-time $25 payment for the rest of the NBA season. Uh, just got to use the PayPal or Venmo address below. Pretty easy. All right, guys. I'm going to break this one down as simply as simply can be. Russell has literally just – on here every single day because DK, for some gun, you know, ungodly known reason, just won't raise his price. This is like the biggest lock of the season, almost in my opinion, like arguably one of the biggest locks of the season, at least from a stud perspective. No Bradley Beal, another game they need to win, taking on Atlanta. I mean, I can't even fathom fading Russ, even in the wildest of my dreams here. Yeah, I mean, you just plug him in and move on. We've said that for weeks now, months it seems. I mean, it it doesn't change tonight with no Beal and a good spot against Atlanta. You know, this isn't the Atlanta of old where they had absolutely no defense, but it doesn't even matter. He's a lock in every spot. But again, tonight's no exception. Plug him in and, and move along with your life. I don't know if you know this or not, but the last time that Russell Westbrook wasn't a good play on DraftKings, LeBron James is a rookie. Yeah, right? Something like that. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. All right, you are feeling Triple J today. Uh, not Jonathan Joseph Jr. Uh, we're talking Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, plus matchup with New Orleans, looking more like himself the last couple of games. Looking more like himself. The minutes have jumped up a little bit. Listen, he probably doesn't have the upside that we're used to seeing when he was, you know, close to 8K, when he, you know, can potentially get you 50 any night with his ability to block shots and shoot from three. However, he's only 6K here. He's been really good the past two games. And I expect him to cruise into value here. I expect like a 35-point night from him. And at 6K, we'll take that every day, twice on Sundays. I like him a lot. I'm a huge Sheriff Jackson fan. Good spot against the New Orleans B team at this point. And again, on a slate with out a ton of great options because we only have six games, he's one of my favorites on the board. Speaking of the New Orleans Pelicans, we got James Johnson. We're just, just, just loaded up with Jays today. Yep. So I don't think of James Johnson as like this super sexy play tonight who's going to go out and get you 50. However, assuming that B.I. remains out, and I would assume, I guess I haven't looked at now, or maybe he has been announced up, but just assuming Brandon Ingram doesn't play, Steven Adams is questionable. The more those two are out, the better. Like if both of those guys played, like James Johnson is no longer a thing, but we have to go into tonight assuming that Ingram for sure is out and probably no Adams either. Uh, Pelicans are on their last legs right here. Uh, expect a decent effort from anybody else who's out there today. And Johnson, is, he's not a great scorer. He's not a great rebounder. He's not a great passer. But he's decent at all these things. So he usually finds a way to be relative. He had a nice second half last night. Uh, the small forward eligibility is, is huge here today as far as your, uh, your build for this format goes as well. Yeah, I mean, again, productive last night. He's a guy whenever he gets run, he's productive from a DFS perspective. And another good spot tonight, assuming those guys were out, I see no reason why we can't go right back here. 
Yeah, Ingram being the most important of those two. You guys probably all know that. Uh, it's nice if Adams is out. Maybe they choose to play small, which is unlikely with Jonas on the floor. But, you know, hypothetically speaking. Uh, but the most important thing is Brandon Ingram no longer plays tonight. And I know Nikhil Alexander-Walker played last night, but Johnson still saw his minutes, and it's possible. Like, they are not going to force Walker into big minutes tonight. For sure. All right, next up, let's move over to more long shot plays of the day. Now, Rui Hachimura, today's cover boy. I Long shot might be a stretch, but on early day ownership projections with a few Wizards getting love in the absence of Bradley Beal, uh, he's not getting enough, in my opinion. For me, Rui is, without you know, outside of Westbrook, who is the lock of locks if you've ever seen one, my favorite Washington Wizard today at sub-5K, Availability at the power forward, which is always nice. Also availability at the center position, which is not the strongest position today. Some days center isn't super strong. I can see a build where you play Rui at the center spot today. Uh, he's had some big old games this year when Beal has been out of the lineup. As you mentioned, Atlanta, maybe not quite the pathetic team that they used to be as far as DFS, but still a solid DFS matchup here. The Wizards pace of play also just kind of seems to rub off on everybody. So this game has the ability to be high intensity. Rui is a developing star might be an aggressive word, but a developing third option on this team is he's improved steadily throughout the year. He does enough things to be viable here in all formats. We've seen Rui with several 40 point games in the absence of Bradley Beal. Yeah, I'm a Rui fan. I wouldn't go as far to say he's an emerging star, but as emerging third option on this team, I'm with you. He's had a bunch of big games. Like you mentioned with Beal out, he looks good here under 5k, a lot to like about him and he's not getting enough flow. Yeah, he got his minutes ramped up last time out, which is big for a guy who had missed a few games due to illness. Yes, sir. All right, so on the flip side of this game, uh, I, I'm going to start with the negative. Our one negative on Gallo was the Hawks have now been rested for three or four days, which he could have fallen out of his hot streak. Now, the positive to that, if you want to look at the pro side of things, Gallo's an older player. So maybe a few days off won't hurt him, but will help him get his legs back underneath him. You should always like guys against Washington. They play at an insane rate. We've seen Gallo coming into the night hot, and I just can't imagine he gets any love today. Yeah, I agree. I mean, listen, a lot to like about him here. We don't like that he just had a few days off after he was red hot, but we do like that he had a couple days off because he's old. So always like Gallo at, with rested legs. We know that he's been productive for a long time. A lot to like about this game. A lot to like about both these guys at right under 5K. As mentioned on the members only video, I prefer Gallo. I like both of them, and I think they're both wildly in play. So I think it's interesting. This is a great example of breaking down, you know, fantasy sports or daily fantasy sports because there's no one right or wrong way to evaluate a, gal a guy like Gallinari today. I don't like the fact that he's been off from the perspective that he may have cooled off. I love the fact that he was off because it could be good for an older guy that got rested. That's ultimately what we get to do when we play this game, which is kind of exciting. There's two sides of the equation. Uh, and this is, you know, I think a great example of how you can take a look at this in com two completely different ways and get to two completely different conclusions. And honestly, we have no way to know prior to the game which one of these comes to fruition. Amen to all that. It'd be funny. Now he's just going to get you 28, 29 points today and be just fine. So it's neither yeah. of them. Seriously. All right, guys, click that thumbs up button. We appreciate y'all watching us today. Subscribe to the station if you are brand new to it. Uh, and go sign up and play on Drafters. I don't know what you're waiting for. It's a, it's a ball. Yeah, we're getting one in a little bit. So thanks a lot, guys.